Shalom, and welcome to Bible Stories as Blueprints of the Soul, your Biblical Hebrew podcast. Shalom, and welcome to our Biblical Hebrew podcast. Today, I would like to speak to you about a very famous term in Hebrew, which is known as Evin Hashtia. Evin Hashtia, the foundation stone. The foundation stone. In Jerusalem, on the Temple Mount, there is a rock which pops out of the mountain. And according to different traditions and belief, on this rock or on this stone, the world is standing. What is the origin for those beliefs and tradition? What is the abstract idea behind those beliefs? Let's look into the structure of the Hebrew language and try to decode the message. The term Evin Hashtia. Evin Hashtia is written in two words. Evin which is a stone in English, and hashtia, which means in Hebrew, foundation, foundation or drinking. So, even hashtia means simply the stone, the drinking stone or the foundation stone. This is the first draft of thinking. Now, let's look into the Hebrew meaning of the word even. Even is not just a stone in English. The word even is written in Hebrew with three letters. Aleph, Bet, Nun. If we divide the word even into two little words, we get Av, which means in Hebrew, Father. And the second is Ben, which means Son in Hebrew. So the word even reflects the relation between father and son, but not just between physical father and physical son, but the relation between the heavenly father and his son, human. Now, the word shtia, which means foundation, foundation is written with four letters, shin, tav, yod, Hey, the volume of the letter Shin is 300. The volume of the letter Tav is 400. Together they make 700. The volume of the letter Yod is 10. And together they make 710. And the volume of the letter He, which is 5. So together the word Shtia, which means drinking or foundation, is 715 plus the letter He that comes before the word Shtia and creates the term the drinking Hashtia, we have 720 in general. The question is, what does the number 720 refer to? If we take the zero outside of the equation, we're left with the number of 72. And as we mentioned in Previous conversations, the number 72 refers to the name of God in the sphere of wisdom. Or the simple name of God, the tetragrammaton, is written with four letters, that their sum together is 26. And when we write the name of God with the filling of the letter Yod, we get the volume of 72. So the question is, what is the meaning of the... So, Evin Hashtia means, so the question remains simple. If behind the term Hashtia, which is drinking or foundation, the number 720 or 72 is hiding, meaning the name of God in the sphere of wisdom, what does the term Evin Hashtia mean? As we said before, Evin, stone, in Hebrew is understanding. What is the understanding between the Heavenly Father and His Son, the human spirit? The understanding is simple. 
for Hashtia has the volume of 720. Like the word Bereshit. From the word Bereshit, the first word of the Bible, which is written in six letters, we can create 720 options or permutations. So the understanding between the Heavenly Father and His Son, the human spirit, is simple. As my Son, as my spirited firstborn Son, human, I give you the divine wisdom from which you can build universes like I built with you when I brought you to this life. So this is what stands behind the term Evin Hashtia, the foundation stone. This world is standing upon the understanding that the Heavenly Father always gives us his own pure wisdom that we could maintain and create worlds like he does. So this was our little conversation for today. We wish you a beautiful day and wonderful week. Thank you for listening to Bible Stories as Blueprints of the Soul. We hope that you enjoyed this episode. If you have any questions, comments, or would like to hear more about a certain topic, just write us an email to hebrew at learnoutlive.com. We are always happy to hear from you. For more episodes, videos, and articles like this, please visit our website at hebrew.learnoutlive.com. We also would like to invite you to join our live classes. Just search for Online College of Biblical Hebrew on Facebook and start learning now with students from all over the world. Kultuv and Shalom.